folks, today we are in Walsh End, on the northern banks of the River Tyne, a very famous port in its day for both shipbuilding and exporting of coal. The railway we are on, North Tyneside Steam Railway, which is run in conjunction with Stevenson's Railway, it's a smallish railway, and it is the remains of coal wagonways which go back to 1755. These were timber railways, if you like, wagonways, uh, timber trucks being towed by horse. Eventually, of course, they became uh, steel and eventually rail. And cableways were used quite a bit, and eventually steam choo-choo's. Quite a nice, friendly sort of place, but otherwise, little to say at this point. Today we are going to be dragged by a saddle type locomotive made by WG Bagnall Works. It uh, had a number of 2994, number 401, and nowadays it has the name of a politician called Thomas Burt, who is dead. It was introduced in 1951. It was designed by Harold Wood. It started off at the Steel Company of Wales, used at the Abbey Works of Port Talbot, and it first carried the name Vulcan. You are the nice if it now carried the same name. But still, politicians like to decorate themselves. It is a high specification loco, um, trying to set the new standards for after the war, but not very successfully because the diesels were coming up fast and there's no way a steam could beat them. 2294 went to Austin's of Longbridge, the Carl factory, eventually ended up at the West Somerset Railway. It was returned to steam there in 1977. Not being suitable for there, it uh, ended up at the Stevenson Railway Museum and then it became was sold to Metropolitan Borough of the Tyneside for use at the Stevenson Railway Museum it was chugging away merrily now on the North Tyneside Steam Railway. It's just had a complete tenure and well, we'll see what we see.
bites of uh, the queen, and another one bites the dust. It's sad when you see it running through what was once the uh, big industrial areas, which are now there uh, as industrial wasteland, but such is life, such is life. And we will move on to the next one.